Hey guys, welcome back to another DirectX Engine tutorial. Uh, in the last tutorial, we ended up doing the vertex buffer. Yes, the vertex buffer. I know we I had a little bit of issues there. I apologize. Uh, luckily, I fixed them, and hopefully, you guys were able to fix them as well. And we are and we drew something to the screen. Luckily, I did that because otherwise, I will not have found those bugs until later on. So yeah. So in this tutorial, we will. We'll, we will create a sprite class. So let's get on to that, shall we? So we want to add a new class. Add, call it sprite. If and def. This guy's not going to be too long, so no worries. Uh, why did I? Oh. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. We want to make the destructor virtual because we will eventually um, overwrite this when it comes to um, doing the animated sprite. We will inherit from sprite. So, we want to get a virtual void initialized. Well, you know, before, let's add some header files. I forgot to do that. Number include. We want to add the vertex buffer. And we want to add a texture. So in here, back to initialize function, you want to have a parameter ID 3D 11 device. You want to pass in the shader. Oh, a shader being passed in here. Oh yeah, it's a vertex buffer. Right. Like where the header file coming from? And we have a texture file name. We want to have a virtual update. And this is sprite. This is not really. It's mostly static. We don't want to mm, do anything with updates. So. Just make sure you put um, brackets in here because we're not going to have anything in there. Only reason why we have an update because is because the uh, animated sprite will need an update. So and you'll see why later on why I can open an update. And that's not till later. And now we want a virtual body render. Pass a parameter of ID 311. D311. Device context. That's a pointer. Device context. D3. You want to pass a D3DX matrix. Copy that. We want to pass in the world matrix. A view matrix. And projection matrix. Now it comes to protect the variables. You want to have a vertex buffer. I have a texture. A shader. And float M size. Not that I remember, we want to in the constructor, you want to add a size in there. And the size is basically the size of this um, plane. So, yeah. Alright, and like always, I went ahead and did the functions. Constructor, make sure you update it to float size. So, the null and set the size to equal size. And the destructor, of course, delete vertex buffer. Release the memory. So we want to go to um, to the initialize function. We want to set the M shader to equal shader. We want to set the M vertex buffer equals new vertex buffer. And we want to initialize it. Device shader. And M size. And then we want to say if 
texture file name does not equal null. And the reason I do that because maybe you want to have a sprite that doesn't have a texture on it. It's just a regular empty sprite. Maybe. Wanna say M texture equals new texture. And texture and you want to initialize it. You want to pass in device and the texture file name. Now you want to go to render. And you want to check to see if M texture. And if it's that I say M shader. You want to say set shader parameters. Device context. And you have, have M texture, get texture. You want to set M shader, set shader parameters. You want to set, oh, go like always, I keep doing that. Device context, world matrix, view matrix, and projection matrix. You have M vertex buffer, you have render, device context. And um, I actually don't need that actually, do I? Shader. No, because no, it's just that. And that's it for the sprite class. So we want to do, we're going to go back to engine. We can update what we did yesterday. I deleted it already because I didn't need it. Like I said, I was going to remove it. I'm going to pass in the sprites. Sprite M Sprite and then go to engine header file. We can we can uh, do what we did in the last video where we can kind of render something in the screen. <coughs> Delete M Sprite M Sprite equals no. Like I said, I'm not gonna keep this. It's just for temporary stuff. Since I don't need it, <coughs> M text M sprite equals new sprite. You want to set it to thirty-two. Um, I need a shader, don't I? That's oh. a texture shader. I'm gonna include texture shader. Texture shader pointer shader equals new I have end graphics graphics get device uh, H D D pass that texture Texture, um, what's the vertex shader and texture pixel shader? So on sprite, you want to say initialize and you want to pass in device. The shader and texture, which was Mario uh, shell sprite png I kept this because I knew I was going to need it. This is temporary, simple. Um, on camera, um, device context and graphics. Device context, world matrix, view matrix, and projection matrix. I hope this works. Lost my fingers. Yay, there we go. And like always, like, you know, we can need it anyway, but. Not sure if Sprite should have an alpha blending in there. I mean, it's up to you. Use your 
It's up to you guys if you want to have alpha blending in there or not. I guess 64. There we go. So it renders. It's a lot smaller than what was yesterday because we had to do a lot of stuff. So there you go. Comes rendering. Now, uh, I never expected to be this video to be a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be, but I'm sure to be short. You know what? I'll keep it short in case you guys want to keep, you know. And in the next video, we'll do an animated sprite. I apologize, I can't do it in this video. I mean, I can, but I want to make some too many stuff in one video. So I'll leave it like that. I hope you guys like this video. Um, hope you enjoy it. Thumbs up if you liked it. And tell other people about it too. You know, let other people about it, you know, know about this engine that I'm creating. Like always, I'm always looking for any feedback you guys want me to do, you know. It's always there's always stuff to be improved on. Any or if you yeah. So you have any if it, if you guys have any input input, let me know. Like always it's always appreciated. So but yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, and in the next video, we'll create an animated sprite. So, I'll see you guys there. Signing out.